I'm wearing my happy hoodie today. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> because we're going to be talking about the positive traits of autism and ADHD. This topic was suggested by Yannicke and here are her cats. This is a really important topic since there's a lot of negative deficit based research and the understanding about our positive traits of our neurotypes are, I feel, really important for self-acceptance first and busting myths and fostering more inclusivity second. Hey friends, I'm Mike, a late diagnosed autistic person. On this channel, we talk about autism and related topics. So if this is you or something that you find interesting, please tap the subscribe button to stay in touch. Let's go. Autism and ADHD are both neurodevelopmental conditions. Technically it's not conditions at all, is it? They're referred to as disorders in that both autistic and ADHD brains have differences to the neurotypical majority. If you enjoy small talk and eye contact, then you might see people who don't as defective in some way. <laughs> of course, if you enjoy sharing deep info dumps on topics that you love, then you might find th those engaging in shallow conversations about the weather and the traffic to be defective themselves, right? So it's all about context. Let's deep dive. That's one of my interests, pardon the pun into the scientific literature and see if we can't pull out something positive for a change. The academic literature is filled with examples that collectively indicate that autistic people have a heightened attention to detail and a unique way of perceiving the world that differs from the neurotypical standard. This can look different in different people, but you're looking at a different approach to problem solving and the ability to notice and process details that others might overlook. In the 2015 paper, Subtypes in the Presentation of Autistic Traits, in the general population, <laughs> researchers looked at over 2,000 people from the general population and found a clear difference between them when looking for autistic traits. They found that those reporting greater social difficulties had much better detail orientation than those reporting neurotypical social awareness. <laughs> they found that the more difficult you find social interactions, probably the <laughs> more autistic AF you are, um, and the, the more that you enjoy and can deal with social interactions, probably the less detail orientated you are. Now, research conducted in 2009 on children found a link between the detail focused cognitive style and the higher level of restricted and repetitive behaviors compared to neurotypicals. Even the controversial Simon Baron Cohen, he's the person who thinks that autistic people have difficulty understanding that other people have their own thoughts, feelings, and perspectives. Now, even he agrees that autistic people have a unique cognitive style that includes attention to detail. This proves to me without doubt that even a broken clock can be correct twice a day. I do as much marine citizen science as I can. I find it relaxing and enjoyable to catalogue underwater marine species and also to record a report on species on abundance scores. I also record the previously alive stuff too that sometimes washes up on the beaches. Prodding and measuring deceased marine megafauna is important to scientific research. I mean, someone has to do it. Why not an autistic person? <laughs> Deep focus and expertise in specific interests. Now, there's no way I could function as a software developer and I formerly worked at Microsoft, the defense sector, and in finance, and notably designing and deploying really large scale systems for the NHS. I've accomplished things in my life that are only possible thanks to my ability to focus deeply on specific interests for really long periods of time. Admittedly, if it's something that I'm not interested in, I'm gonna have a really hard time with focus. And I'm really lucky that most of my life involves my interests and I can play to the strengths of my military grade autism. In 2014, a study using pupillometry, that's like looking at the eyes, a little camera, discovered that part of the brain that regulates attention and releases noroepiphrine was more active in autistic people and may explain the increased alertness and attentional focus that autistic brains have. It is a double-edged sword though, as it's this same area, it plays a role in our body's response to stress. In 2012, two researchers conducted a study to see how autistic interests differ to neurotypical ones. Now this study found that autistic adults tend to have interests that are more aligned with what they call systematizing domains. This means understanding and constructing systems. Whether it's something like coding, like I do, or categorizing wildlife or understanding mechanical systems. Whilst neurotypicals can also do these things, autistic level interests are deep. So deep in fact that in 2022, 
A further study was conducted looking into the special interests of autistic adults, focusing on their employment and on their mental health. The study reveals that autistic adults have highly diverse special interests. Remember discussing your special interests last month? Now, I'll have the first one. Let's go for this one here. Okay, here we go. The first one is from um, SASG4888, who has an interest of collecting fountain pens and finding the perfect ink. And that these special interests could be leveraged to enhance our employment experiences and overall well-being. Now the flip side is this, an autistic person being bullied for their special interests causes much higher levels of depression, anxiety and stress compared to neurotypicals being bullied for theirs. But if you can align your special interests with your employment, you are much more likely to feel personal fulfillment and happiness. Now, keeping up with the scientific theme, but without any direct evidence, here's honesty and integrity. Now, there aren't a lot of studies that focus specifically on honesty and integrity as distinct traits of autistic people. However, there is a general consensus in clinical observations that autistic people often exhibit a high level of honesty. Now, I think this trait is sometimes attributed to our tendency towards straightforward communication and a preference for clear, unambiguous language. Now, in work, this trait can lead to a really strong work ethic and in personal relationships to a foundation of trust and reliability. Although, if you've met one autistic person, you've only met one autistic person, it would be good to see more research directly focusing on honesty and integrity in the autistic population. Researchers, this one's for you. Section two, positive traits of ADHD. Creativity and innovation. ADHDers often exhibit high levels of creativity and an ability to so-called think outside the box. Does that mean that neurotypical thinking is inside a box? Like a cat? Cats are autistic, as we all know. A 2006 study focuses on the relationship between ADHD and two aspects of creativity, divergent and convergent thinking. They found that adults with ADHD performed better on tasks requiring divergent thinking. So think about brainstorming, thinking of multiple ideas, so your thinking's going wide. Although the flip side of this is ADHDers had worse performance on convergent thinking. That's arriving at a single correct solution. Now, this isn't just an artistic benefit. In 2016, a study found a significant positive correlation between ADHD characteristics and creativity in engineering students. ADHDers often have a distinct cognitive style characterized with high levels of creativity and particularly in divergent thinking. Any ADHD folks with ideas for videos? Do you want to brainstorm them for me in the comments below? Cheers. <laughs> Whenever I've talked to people with an outdated idea of what ADHD actually is, they almost always go straight to talking about restless children. Well, it is that, but it was also so much more. You can think of hyperactivity as a reservoir of physical energy that often manifests as a constant need for movement and action. This is something that Casey Neistat has attributed for his success on YouTube. It's attention deficit advantage. Although this is true to some extent for any dynamic environment that needs active involvement and quick responsiveness. Research from 2018 looks at the positive character strengths, believe it or not, there is actually a character strengths and virtues classification handbook. <laughs> and successful adults with ADHD can thank ADHD traits for supporting. I quote, supporting and sustaining high functioning and flourishing in ADHD life. <laughs> Three, adaptability and spontaneity. A study in 2013 by Fleshman and Miller looked at the life stories of adults late diagnosed with ADHD in adulthood. Their findings revealed that after being diagnosed, these ADHDers constructed a much more coherent view of their life and found that they moved beyond guilt. I'm not sure what guilt this is, but they moved beyond it. And they started recognizing the positive aspects of having ADHD, including adaptability to various life situations. Overlapping strengths in autism and ADHD, one second. Hyperfocus and persistence. Both autistic and ADHD people can show high levels of focus and persistence in areas of interest, sometimes leading to significant achievements. Hyperfocus, like I touched on earlier, is sometimes amazing. In 2019, a controlled 10-year longitudinal follow-up study 
on the utility of autistic traits in youth with ADHD, found that both autistic and ADHD individuals can show high levels of achievement in areas of interest. Tell us something we didn't know. I have to deal with that guy at some point. Leading to significant achievements. Although, flip side, the presence of autistic traits was associated with more challenges across various areas of life. Tell us what we didn't know. It's well known that autistic people tend to have a strong sense of justice, perhaps connected to the honesty trait. But did you know that ADHDers have something similar? In 2015, a study by Schaefer and Kraneberg revealed that participants with ADHD showed higher values associated with justice sensitivity than the control group. Interestingly, they also found out that the sense of justice was higher in the inattentive subtype of ADHD compared to the hyperactive one. Passion and intensity in relationships and interests. It goes almost without saying. Since autists and ADHDers are known for our abilities to think of novel solutions to problems, we might get distracted along the way, but we're original and creative. This can be a huge advantage in certain fields. The popular or DHD term is actually relatively new. So in terms of finding research for people who have both, it is more difficult than just autism or just ADHD. However, ADHD and autism do have a high overlap of both traits, with 22 to 83% of autistic children also meeting the criteria for ADHD, and 20 to 65% of children with ADHD also having clinically significant autistic traits. I'd like to see more research in this area focusing on ADHDers. There are millions of us on the planet, so plenty of people to study. I've really enjoyed reading these papers and I've included the sources in the description. If you've enjoyed my approach to this topic and would like others to see it too, please drop a like and consider subscribing to join the Autistic Afters community here on YouTube. And stim freely on the notification bell too to get notified when I live stream, for example. We've been having loads of fun on live streams recently. On the last one, we did a theory of mind test and watched that Autism Speaks video. Like I said, fun. <laughs> this video has been brought to you by Saber. He's one of my three-legged cats who had a car accident in his previous home, and he's lived with me since 2015. He follows me around everywhere and loves getting cat biscuits out of boxes. <laughs> he's my shadow. If you enjoyed this video, you really need to watch the next one on ADHD, right here. <laughs> oh, and I hope you saw that I updated the channel name. It's much more representative of everyone here. I hope you like it.